update on a story we first told you about last night, the unfolding grade-fixing scandal at a Brooklyn high school. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer caught up with school's chancellor, Carmen Farina, to find out why the Department of Ed has failed to act. Investigations don't happen overnight. Schools Chancellor Carmen Farinian's explanation for a nearly four-month delay in stopping an alleged grade-fixing scandal at John Dewey High School infuriating teachers who blew the whistle on a so-called Easy Pass scam, a scheme by the principal teacher's charge to inflate graduation rates. Students allowed to play a computer game or watch a movie like Jurassic Park to change a failing grade. Frustrated, unprotected, uh, vulnerable, and it, it made me feel as though I'm working in a system that doesn't care. This teacher, who has to be disguised for fear of being fired, stunned by the delay. The educator, one of 10 teachers at Dewey who risked their careers to meet with investigators on December 3rd, turning over detailed records. We gave them hundreds of names of students. What has the teachers most upset is the discovery that their charges are being investigated internally by the Department of Education and not by the school system's independent special commissioner of investigations. In some respects, feel that it's like the fox guarding the hen house. I tried to get answers from the chancellor before she toured an upper Manhattan school. We don't play lightly with these issues, but they take time, especially if they're more than one point of view. Are you troubled by it? If it's true, of course, but at this moment, I really am holding my until the investigation is done, I will make no judgment. So now the teachers wait, wondering if the chancellor's failure to act will allow more students to graduate in June on the Easy Pass plan. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.